हेलो एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस टूडे लाइव सेशन नंबर इलेवन एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम ऑटोमेशन एंड द स्मार्ट ग्रीज एंड इन दिस सेशन वी मेनली फोकस ऑन द प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन द बिंड इनर्जी कन्वर्जन सिस्टम so let us begin with this some of the quick review about the bind energy conversion system and then we will start the we will start solving today's problems so the first thing that how is to meet the bind energy at a site so here the first term comes that is mass flow that is mass flow covered by the bin turbine so here m dot means that it is derivative of mass with respect to time and if you write then it will it comes it will come equal to rho u rho a mu not where rho is the air density now how you will write this power available in bin p not through an area a at a at a speed of free bin u not so you will write p not is equal to half of m dot u not square now substituting m dot that is mass flow in this expression you will get half rho u not into u not square you will get half rho a u not q so here this is one of the important expression that tells about the power available in the bind so half rho a u not q just keep remember this expression now the things the thing is that a wind turbine not can never utilize all the power available in the wind whatever this power output we get from this expression that is power available in the in the wind we cannot utilize all the power through the bin turbine so another copy, uh, another term comes that is power coefficients the amount of power that can be utilized by bin turbine is given by the power coefficient and its values varies with this rotor design and the tip speed ratio now how now this power extracted by bin turbine can be written as the multiplication of power coefficient into the power available in the bin that is pt power extracted by bin turbine equal to power coefficient cp into power available in the band bin p not so this is the power expression that is extracted by bin turbine now this uh, uh, from weights law you can you can get the maximum value power coefficient as 0.59 and this power extracted by bin turbine also uh, how you will calculate the electrical power output from this bind generation that is whole this gear generator and the bin turbine you have to multiply with this efficiency of the complete system efficiency of the combined gear generator so electrical power output is equal to efficiency multiplied with this power extracted by the bin turbine and since this 
power coefficient cp depends on this rotor design and the tip speed ratio so here how you can find this tip speed ratio so tip speed ratio or lambda is defined as the relative speed of the rotor tip with respect to the bend speed and rotor tip speed is the tangential speed of rotor so you can write tangential speed as omega r now just substitute this value omega we know that omega is equal to 2 pi n and this n is uh, n denotes the revolution of wind turbine in revolution per second and you can convert this omega in terms of revolution per minute 2 pi n divided by 60 so here n is n denoting the revolution of wind turbine per minute rpm revolution per minute so this expression gives you the tip speed ratio uh, it is denoted by lambda and tip speed ratio is the is the ratio with respect uh, rotor tip speed with respect to the bend speed now coming to this next expression that will use in this solving the problems how estimate the bend speed at height h so according to world meteorological organization a standard bend speed u naught is generally taken as 10 meter above the ground so this u naught is given and now if you want to find at find the bend speed at a certain height h then you have to use this expression u is equal to u naught into h upon h naught to the power a so here you can see that this bend speed is varying y this height and uh, y varying with this h up h to the power a where a denotes this roughness of friction coefficient and u naught is the reference bend speed at reference height h naught that which generally taken as 10 meter above the ground so this expression is useful now coming to the next next uh, important point here we have this power curve for a bend generator so this power curve shows the approximate power output as a function of wind speed here you can see this how this power varying and this power of a wind generator varies with the wind speed and the minimum wind speed required to start the blades turning and producing a useful output that we can define it as cutting a cutting a speed and this maximum power output that the wind turbine will produce is called the rated power so this you can see this rated power and the minimum wind speed needed for the wind turbine to produce rated power is known as the rated speed this one so here we can see that between this cutting speed and rated speed this expression p naught is directly proportional to u naught q this expression is valid between between this region between the cutting speed and the rated speed and beyond that we cannot produce 
before this cutting speed we have a minimal amount of power producing by this wind generator and after this rated speed upon changing the upon upon increasing the wind speed it produces the fixed amount that is rated power and after certain amount this after certain amount of speed this rated you cannot generate power so you have to shut down your wind generator and that maximum amount of, that maximum speed wind speed is known as shutdown speed so this shutdown shutdown speed is also called like the furling speed it is the maximum operational speed of the wind turbine and beyond this wind turbine you cannot produce the power and in order to prevent the damage to the system from high winds the blades are either folded back or turned to a high pitch position so this shutdown speed has many names shutdown speed is also known as furling speed or it is also known as cut up cut up speed so till here any doubt now we will we will start solving the problem alex priyadarshini rahul patil so let us begin to solve the first problem so here is the first problem so the first problem is that for a wind speed of 10 meter per second a striking blades of a wind turbine of radius 5 meter determine the output power from wind energy conversion system if the efficiencies of gearbox and turbine generator are 75% and 90% respectively and here you have to consider air density rho as 1.24 kg per meter cube and turbine power coefficient as 0.3 those who are getting the answer you can type your answer in chat box and you can start solving problem parallelly with me so here you have to find the electrical power output from this wind energy conversion system so you need to find the p electrical and what are the things we have here given are given values are first wind speed is give me u not u not is given as 10 meter per second and then radius of wind turbine wind turbine or rotor radius is given as 5 meter so and then gearbox and turbine generator efficiencies are given so this efficiency of gearbox is given as 75% so let us take it as 0.75 and this turbine efficiency of turbine is given as 0.9 air density is given as 1.24 kg per meter cube and tur turbine power coefficient is given as 
so what is the expression of this electrical power output so we know that electrical power output is efficiency into total gear generator efficiency into this power extracted by the wind turbine so we can write this further we can we can bifurcate this efficiency is the gearbox efficiency first we multiply and then turbine and pt is cp into p naught so cp into p naught and p naught is half of rho a u naught q u naught q now just we put all these values because all the values we are given with so electrical power output will be what is the gearbox efficiency gearbox efficiency is 0.75 and turbine efficiency 0.9 and then uh, this power coefficient power coefficient is given as 0.3 and then this p naught p naught is half of rho u naught q so I want just want to make you remember this PT is equal to CP into P naught and P naught we know that half of rho A U naught Q so this air density is given as 1.24 kg per meter cube and area how you will find this area area is equal to pi r square since this rotor radius is given as 5 meter that we take it as r so area equal to pi r square so this will be pi into 5 square pi into 5 square and u naught q is given as 10 meter per second so it will be 1000 10 to the power q that is 1000 so upon multiplying all these values you will get 9860.67 watt So B is the correct answer. Yes, Peter Asini, you are correct. Very good. B is the correct answer. Now let us move to the next problem. so in the in this problem this is a really a good problem if the rated as rated power of a wind turbine is 50 kilowatt and the cutout speed is 1.5 times that of rated speed and the generator power so you have to find the generator power at 90 percent and 100 percent of rated speed are respectively and the options are shown below So here rated power is given here. So P rated is given as 50 watt, 50 kilowatt. Since so and the cutout of speed so EU cut out 
a speed is given as 1.5 times of rated speed and you have to find the generator power at 90% and 110% of rated speed so let us how you will find this output power at 90% so first we will find this output power at 90% Since we know that the power ex extracted by the bin turbine is PT is equal to CP into P naught and P naught is half rho A U naught Q. So we can see that the power extracted by bin turbine is directly proportional to to the cube of bind speed. So the rated power is given as 50 kilowatt. So you can write that 50, 50 kilowatt is, is being produced at this U naught. Then what is the power extracted at the 90% of U naught? So U naught upon 90% of U naught. You can also write here rated. That's better. So you will get PT2 as 0 0.9 Q into 50 kilowatt. So you will get 36.45 kilowatt. So here two options are matching 36.4 option C and option D. Now we have to check the generator power at the 110% of rated speed. So how you will find this one? So can anyone tell in this how you will find this generator power at 110% of rated speed? Alex Dharminder Pidasni Rahul So can we apply this same method for this 110% of rated speed or we should approach some different way like suppose you you applied same way like this power extractor by wind turbine is directly proportional to cube of wind speed so you will get 50 upon like this 110 percent of let us suppose this pt3 so pt3 and this u rated q upon 1.1 u rated cube so you will get the power generated power at the 110 percent rated speed as 1.1 q into 50 so you will get 66.55 kilowatt but in options it is not given so is this correct or we should have we are doing some mistake 
can anyone tell Rahul, Alex, Dharminder, Pirdasni. So we are doing one mistake here. So this is this we cannot apply above the rate data speed. As I shown you in the previous slide that uh, when we are when I am providing this summary, summary of this wind energy conversion system. At that time you have seen you have saw one waveform of how this power varies with respect to wind speed. So just I am reminding you again. So here you see this between this cutting speed and rated speed only this power is varying with wind uh, varying with the cube of wind speed and after this rated speed you can see this before the shutdown of speed it producing the only rated power so shut cut out of speed is 150 percent of the rated speed so it is 1.5 percent 1.5 time times means it is 150 percent of the rated speed so it is beyond uh, here it is asking by 110 percent so it is beyond this uh, cut out of speed so at 110 percent of rated speed also the generator power will be equal to rated speed only so i am just writing here one point since rated power is since rated power is 50 kilowatt and cut out a speed is 150% of rated speed So it is asking about the the power generated at the power generated at 110 percent of the rated speed. So what will be the power generated at 110 percent of the rated speed? What should be the amount? Rahul, Peter, Darsani, anyone? Did you get my point or not? What I am saying? Peter, Darsani, Rahul, Dharmender. I think Rahul left. Alex. So since rated power is 50 kilowatt and this and this uh, cut out of speed is 150 percent of rated speed so the power generated 100 percent of rated speed will be also 50 kilowatt only so this will be also 50 kilowatt only if you have any doubt in this problem you can ask again so option d is the correct for this problem 36.45 kilowatt and 50 kilowatt any doubt in this problem if there is no doubt then we can move further i hope you understand this problem 
this problem is very nice and you should all try after completion of this session and if you again have some doubt you can ask in the discussion forum now let us see the next problem so in this problem determine the deep speed ratio tsr if the area swept by the turbine blades is 153.94 meter square angular speed of the rotor is 100 rpm and the wind speed is 15 meter per second so this is quite easy problem you have to just apply the expression of tip speed ratio lambda what are things here given so the things given here are area area swept by the turbine blades a is given One hundred fifty three point nine four meter square. Angular speed of the rotor is given as hundred RPM. So we denote it as N. So it is given as hundred RPM. And the wind speed U naught is given as fifteen meter per second. And you have to determine this tip speed ratio. So TSR is denoted as lambda. So we know that it is the ratio of ratio of rotor tangential tangential speed upon this wind speed. So lambda is omega r or r omega divided by u naught. So it is ratio of tangential rotor tip speed upon this wind speed. Lambda is equal to r omega upon u naught. So it is very important expression. Just keep it in mind. Now we don't know r, so we can find this r value from the area. So area is pi r square. So r is coming as under root of 153.94 upon pi so this is the rotor radius now we have to find this omega omega no problem so omega we can write first let us take r it as it is omega we can write to pi n upon 60 upon u naught because this lambda be right r into 2 pi n where this a small n is in, in a revolution per second and this n in revolution per minute this n value is in revolution per second and n value in revolution per minute So just put all these values we have given with all these values. So R value is 153.94 upon pi into 2 pi n. n is given as 100 rpm upon 60 and u naught is given as 15 meter per second. So you will get 7 into 2 pi into 10 upon 15 into 6. So you will get 4.8869. So it is approximately coming as 4.89. So TSR or uh, tip speed ratio is coming as 4.89 therefore a is the correct of correct, correct answer so how many of you are able to get this answer let me check yes even 90 percent is also within the rated speed why it is not same as the rated speed no no you didn't get this point 
यू कैन एनम्यूट योर सेल्फ नो प्रॉब्लम वी हैव वेरी लेस अटेंडेंस सो हेयर सी दिस be taken as this rated as speed so 90% false 90% like false within here this this point 90% 80% 10% 50% and so on and this cutting speed is more over like 10% or below the below 10% of the rated speed so it is asking about the 90% so you have in this region this at 90% you have to apply this expression pt is called um, p not is directly proportional to cube of cube of the bind speed and you have this rated speed you have to check this you have the rated speed what amount of this uh, power they are asking because this shut down shut down of speed is taken as 150% of the rated speed and they are asking about 110% of the rated speed so 110% of the rated speed so here you can i am writing here 90% of rated speed sorry so let us take it as this point so this point you can take it as 90% of the rated speed and this is the rated speed like here in this problem they are given as 25 mile per hour so we are not going into this values we are here they are playing with this percentage and this shut down of speed this point this point is given as 150% of the rated speed one point five times of the rated speed so if you see here also this 40 will come as approximately 1.5 times of 25 mile per hour now in this problem they are asking about at this at this point like 110% of the rated speed so this falls within this region rated power what means what amount of a speed you are changing that all the speed will give the rated power only so at this point let us assume this 110% of the rated speed and in this problem rated power is given as 50 kw not 30 i suppose here they are given with 30 so it is 50 kw not uh, this figure is just for representation not conclude but what you can easily predict that when this power is directly proportional to q root of the bind speed and when this power becomes constant this power becomes constant equal rated power between this rated speed and the shut down speed right so you have to check means when they are asking if they are asking below this rated speed then you have to apply this p not is equal to cube of this bind speed and just make sure that it should be above the cutting speed because be, be below the cutting speed the bind turbine is able to produce the minimal amount of power only and this and above the rated speed it will produce either rate, rated power or it will not produce any power if it goes beyond the shut down of shut down speed so you have to be careful while solving the problem with respect to power output from the bind turbine with respect to the bind speed i hope you will get uh, you get it pedrasni are you able to get okay fine
now let uh, we are here we are moving forward to the problem number four so in this problem if 240 volt 4.8 kilowatt single phase load is supplied by solar plant which comprises of 20 identical panels connected in series and 10 such parallel paths the power voltage and current rating of each panel are so So 20 identical panels are connected in series. And this and then we are having 10 such parallel paths. Sir, option C is correct. Yes, correct. Very good. Option C is correct. And we have 10 parallel paths. like this so you have to tell the and this is 240 volt 4.8 kilowatt single phase load is, is supplied by the solar plant so for 240 volt you can find the volt per panel For 240 volt, number of series panel panels equal to 240 upon volt per panel. So it's better to make like this. So here this 240 volt so now this number of series panels equal to 240 volt and volt per panel and this series per panels is given by 20 so 240 upon volt per panel so this volt per panel will come as 12 volt so from the figure you can also find 
like since 240 volt is coming across the panel then approx 12 volt will come across each panel now we can find this since total load is given total load is given as 4.8 kilowatt total load is given as 4.8 kilowatt that is 4800 watt therefore we can write this power supplied by 20 series panels power supplied by 20 series panels power supplied by each 20 series panels because 10 parallel paths are there so power produced by power produced by 20 series panels let us assume it as 22s 20 p20s so the current contribution will be like this number of parallel paths equal to total load and upon this power produced by 20 series panels by 20 each series panels since number of parallel paths is 10 and total load is 4800 watt upon p20s so power produced by each 20 series panels will be coming as 480 watt so here see this i am talking about this i am talking about this one 20 series panels so one 20 series panels is providing power of 480 watt now you can easily find the current supplied by each series panel so current supplied by each series panel will be p20s upon 240 uh, upon 240 because voltage is 240 volt so here you, it's better to write power produced by each 20 series panels power produced by each 20 series panels that is coming as 480 watt now current supplied by each series panel will be power supplied by each 20 series panels upon voltage voltage is 240 volt so from here you will get 480 upon 240 so it will give you 2 ampere so 2 ampere power 2 ampere current is being providing by this by providing by this series panels so you can find this current supplied by each panel also whatever the current supplied by each series panel the same current will flow through each panel also so you can find the volt per panel so you can write current supplied by each panel it will also equal to 2 ampere only current supplied by each panel equal to power of each power of panel power of each panel upon volt per panel power of panel we have to find so current supplied by each panel is 2 ampere and power of panel is we have to determine this 
and volt per panel is 12 volt so power of each panel will be 24 volt so 2 ampere since 2 ampere is flowing from the each panel or each series panel so you have to multiply with 12 volt so you will get 24 watt so i think we got all the answer so here this power voltage and current rating of each panel are current rating is 2 ampere and voltage is 12 volt and power we have to just multiply 12 with 2 ampere you will get 24 watt okay if if there is in doubt you can ask otherwise we can move forward now coming to the fifth number problem in this problem you have to tell that which of the flowing types of battery has highest specific energy and the options are nickel metal hydride nickel cadmium lithium ion lead acid so this is theoretical type you can easily give the answer I hope so. <laughs> yes, Pridasini. Nickel metal hydride. No, it is not correct. It is asking. It's hey. lithium ion, sir. Yeah. Sure. Lithium ion is correct option. So, from the figure also, you can easily tell. Sorry. So here from this figure also this a specific energy capacity this lead acid has 25 to 45 watt hour per kg nickel iron has 30 to 40 watt hour per kg and nickel cadmium has 35 to 60 watt hour per kg nickel metal hydroxide has 50 to 75 watt hour per kg while this lithium ion has highest specific energy capacity that is 110 to 140 watt hour per kg so this lithium iron iron has highest energy highest specific energy capacity so option c is the correct answer now let us see the next problem so which of the flowing are components of distribution automation and the options are medium voltage regular automation medium voltage voltage post type monitoring stations medium voltage switching automation and all of and d is all of these anyone those who are present Alex Pridasani yes very good option D is correct very nice since here you can see this task involved in uh, and monitoring in distribution automation so here you see this MV monitoring station, post type, MV switches automation, MV reclosure, all these comes in comes under this distribution automation. These are the components for distribution automation, and this MV regulator automation also comes under this distribution automation. So all these components comes under the distribution automation. Therefore, D is the correct option. Now let us come to the next problem. Which of the flowing tasks are, are not included in the active network management? And the options are active voltage control, network reconfiguration, demand side management, and none of the above. So for this problem, I will just give you the answer and you just look upon this active network management. So for these options, all 
this active voltage control network reconfiguration demand side management comes under this active network management so these are not the true option so none of them will be the correct answer for this problem number 7 now let us see the next problem which of the following is are true about the supervisory control and data acquisition system i just want to tell here that this is nice problem this is multiple select question more than one choices are correct multiple select question msq and the options are ascada has been employed in distribution system only ascada has been employed in transmission as well as distribution systems ascada includes smart meters and unidirectional communication links ascada includes bidirectional communication links and master control assist automation Yes, Pidas. Very nice. Option D is the correct answer. Option B and D are the correct answer. So, SCADA employed in both transmission as well as distribution system, and it includes bidirectional communication links and master control station. Now, let, let us see the next problem. Which of the following technologies can convert an existing grid to a smart grid? And this problem is also multiple set question more than one choices are correct multiple select question and the options are more number of centralized generation systems more number of transmission and distribution systems advanced communication technology advanced information technologies Yes, very good, Pradeshni. C and D are the correct option. Tawal Patil, you are also correct. C and both advanced communication technology and advanced information technology can convert an existing grid to a, a smart grid. Now, let us move to the next problem. Which of the following technology cannot be a feature of a smart grid? Options are self-healing. self monitoring bidirectional communication and hierarchical network yes for question number 10 Yes, Pradesh, you are correct. Hierarchical network cannot be feature of smart grid. So option D is the correct option. And other ones are the feature of smart grid like self healing, self monitoring, and bidirectional communication are the features of a smart grid. Now let us move to the next problem. In a wind turbine, the efficiencies of a gearbox and turbine generator set are 70% and 95% respectively. determine the maximum theoretical overall power conversion efficiency of the unit so as i told you from this bates law you have to recall this maximum power maximum value of the power coefficient so i just want to recall you that from bates law we know that maximum value of the power coefficient is taken as 0.59 so 
so this additional knowledge will help you in solving this problem otherwise you cannot solve the problem because this value is not given in the problem so cp max is 0.59 now we can find the overall power conversion efficiency of the unit so maximum efficiency will be maximum efficiency will be cp max it is multiplied with efficiency of gearbox and it will be multiplied with the efficiency of turbine generator so cp max is given as 0.59 I think B. Yes, B is the correct answer. Correct, Dharmendra. B is the correct answer. Gearbox. Good evening, sir. Yes. <laughs> Good evening. Actually, I was in traffic. That's why I could not respond, sir. Sorry for that. Yes. No problem. No issue. Turbine generator zero point nine five. So zero point three nine two three five. It is twenty nine point two three five percent. Be the correct answer. Now let us move to the next problem. A solar panel of rated three thirty watt ten volt is to be supply is is to be supplied a two forty volt single phase load of two point eight eight kilowatt. How many panels will be required for this and the arrangement? so how you will find again we will apply this one like first we will go for voltage rating since for 240 volt number of series panels number of series panels will be 240 upon volt per panel so this series panels is given number of series panels we have to determine number of series panels we have to determine number of series panels option d sir yes option d is correct 240 upon volt per panel is 10 so 24 series panels now we are given with load so from load we can find the current provided by each panels from load load is given as 2.88 kilowatt current supplied by each panel current supplied by each panel is equal to power of the panel upon volt per panel so power of panel is 30 watt and volt panel is volt per panel is 10 volt so 3 ampere is provided by the each panel or by each series panel so we can find the power produced by 20 c power produced by each 24 series panels 
is P24S so it will be 24 volt into 3 ampere so it will give you 720 watt so now you can find the number of parallel paths so therefore num therefore number of parallel paths will be total load upon P24S that is power producer is 24 series panels total load is 2880 watt and power producer is 24 series panel 720 watt so you will get 4 as the answer and sorry and 24 series panels right so d is the correct answer any doubt in this problem if there is no doubt we can move to another problem there are another ways also you can make this solve problems by diametrical view through diagram it's better and you can also approach some other method so let us move to the next problem question number 13 a wind turbine has cutting a speed rated a speed and shut down a speed of 8 km per hour 35 km per hour and 50 km per hour respectively in which of the flowing wind speed it will have the highest generation so the given value given things are cutting a speed cutting a speed is 8 km per hour and this rated a speed rated a speed is given as 35 km per hour and shut down a speed is given as 50 km per hour now you have to tell that which in which of flowing wind speed it will have the highest generation and the options are 4 km per hour 25 km per hour 45 km per hour and 55 km per hour sir 45 B. which option C option. Yes, C. Pidasani, you are telling another option. No, D is not correct. I think you did not. So I am saying C option. C. Yes, C option is correct, Dharmendra, but Pidasani is telling this D option. So here this shut down speed 50 km hour. So how at the 55 km per hour it will produce the power. So you will just go through this diagram through, through this power curve. Here you can see this. Between this rated speed and shut down speed, this will produce the maximum power that is rated power. So between 35 and 50 km per hour, only one option is matching. So C is the correct answer so see the correct answer and for this problem you can like this cutting a speed is same 8 km per hour so you can in the place of mile per hour you can write kilometer per hour and the rated speed is not 35 not 25 to 35 km per hour and for the shutdown of speed it is given as 50 km per hour so between 35 and 50 only one option is coming 45 km per hour so therefore it is correct answer now let us see the next problem the flowing form of a storage is having the highest capacity and energy storage 
and the options are lead acid battery lithium ion battery pump storage unit and high power flywheel so c option pump storage unit yes correct so you you see this diagram you can see this figure so this is having the highest capacity and energy storage so pump storage hydro unit is the correct option let us see the next problem a fuel cell needs and the options are hydrogen supply at the node side hydrogen supply at the cathode side oxygen air at the node side oxygen air cathode side and this is multiple slit problem multiple select question more than one choices are correct multiple select question a and d yes hydrogen supply at the anode side and the oxygen air at the cathode side so fuel in in so had so you can see this at the anode side hydrogen supply or h2 and at the cathode side oxygen air at the cathode side now let us see the next problem the tip speed ratio wind turbine depends on options are wind speed rotor radius rotor speed and d all of these all of these yes, all correct. of these sir d correct tsr or lambda so we know that it is r omega upon u not so this is rotor radius and omega so if you write this omega omega is 2 pi n upon 60 so here this is rotor speed n is rotor speed omega is rotor angular speed so this rotor speed also depends and wind speed so this is wind speed and omega is rotor angular speed it has unit of radian per second so d is the correct answer now let us see the next problem so optimal network reconfiguration is part of the flowing smart grid initiative Um, options are substation automation distribution management system distribution system monitoring none of these yes anyone I think so. C option. No, C is not correct. Actually, sir, some problems uh, regarding the reconfiguration because uh, it makes some confusion. Uh, distribution system planning and recon uh, reconfigurations because in case of uh, objectives and uh, constraints variables, so it creates some problems. we have to uh, i think we have covered this uh, uh, optimization objective for reconfigured networks so optimal network reconfiguration so in that it did not comes under the substation automation because this substation sub automation has different meaning and monitoring we do in the real time while this distribution management system will only comes under this planning so this network configuration for this problem b is the correct answer distribution management system what you are saying dharminder please recall i am not getting your uh, 
question sir actually uh, there is a confusion regarding a uh, distribution uh, planning network and uh, reconfiguration so what part we consider reconfiguration because uh, uh, some uh, like constraints distribution, variables distribution uh, planning is basically you are developing a new network then you have to like uh, start from the scratch what in the different thing different things means different objectives and what are the means optimization problems you have to figure out but in the configuration you have to like you have a already network and you have to decide like uh, based on you have to decide the uh, status of each switches so means after developing a network you can do reconfiguration why just changing the status of switches so it it will also comes under the distribution management part but sir here uh, distribution system monitoring also maybe also correct because what which one c part c part monitoring means distribution system monitoring means you do in real time how we, reconfiguration will come in real part you already you will you, means after deciding the after reconfiguring the network it is already established network so means you did not monitoring means like you see the status of the what means power flow and what are things happening in your distribution systems means any grid voltage cycles and other things like in a scada system you can see what are the things but the configuration it is already decided before that so it comes in the management part before the part not in real time so like the configuration is not in real time it is already happened now monitoring is real in real time you are doing monitoring in current time you are monitoring is just uh, currently not that so this is the different between this uh, management and this monitoring okay sir thank you so for distribution management systems these are the these are the parts these are the parts for the distribution management systems like fault detection isolation service restoration topology processor optimal network configuration this integrated volt work control switch order management dynamic load modeling load estimation dispatcher training simulator short circuit analysis relay protection coordination and this optimal capacitor placement and optimal voltage regulator placement now coming to the next problem the implementation of automated metering infrastructure needs and options are a smart meter bidirectional communication system indirectional communication system and d is none of these and this is also multiple slit problem multiple slit question a e and b sir a and b is yes, correct dharminder a and b are the correct options a smart meter and bidirectional communication system multiple slit question and the next problem the smart meter will enable the efficient management of bidirectional flow power bidirectional flow of data and bidirectional flow power and data and the last option is none of these sir c option c yes correct bidirectional flow power and data now let us see the next problem supervisory control and data acquisition includes options are a master control station sensors analog digital and digital analog converters c is bidirectional communication links d is all of these option d yes correct option d is the correct answer now let us see the next problem the wind speed at a, at the height of 10 meter is 5 meter per second the location is on land and the value of a is given as 0.14 calculate the wind speed at a height of 40 meter so here 
what are the values given u naught is given as 5 meter per second that is a standard we take the we take the wind speed at height of 10 meter so h naught is given as 10 meter and the age roughness of friction coefficient roughness or friction coefficient so this value is coming at 0 0.14 we have to find the wind speed at height of h meter so you have to find u and h is given as 40 meter so just recall this estimation of wind speed at height h u is equal to u naught h upon h naught to the power a so we just substitute all these values you will get the wind speed at height at height of 40 meter so e equal to e naught is 5 meter per second h is 40 meter h naught is 10 meter a is 0 0.14 so it will be 5 into 4 upon 0 0.14 so it will give you 0 6.06 .06, 0 7 point 0 9 7 meter per second so it is 6.07 meter per second so option C is the correct answer yes Pridasani you are correct option C is the correct answer now let us see the next problem so here this is multiple uh, common data for multiple problems a wind energy system has the flowing parameters rotor turbine diameter d is given 37.5 meter wind turbine power coefficient is given as 0 0.38 cutting wind speed is given as 5.4 meter per second rated wind speed is given as 9.7 meter per second Cut-off wind speed is given as 17.9 meter per second. Air density is given as 1.2 to 5 kg per meter cube. Synchronous generator rated power output is 200 kilowatt. Calculate the available power in the wind at rated wind speed P0. You have to find the P0. So, we know that P0 formula. So, P0 is half rho a u naught q so let us see what are the values given here to get the this available power in the bit so rho is given air density is given as 1.225 kg per meter q and area area I think it is not given but we can calculate pi r square so pi into d upon t d upon 2 square so pi into 37.5 upon 2 whole square will be the area so pi into 18.75 square now we have a and this rated wind speed u naught is given as 9.7 meter per second now we have to substitute the value and we can we will get the available power in the wind so p naught equal to half of Rho is 1.225 kg per meter cube. Area is pi into 
सेवन फाइव स्क्वायर एंड यूनोट क्यू इज नाइन पॉइंट सेवन क्यू सो अपॉन सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस यू विल गेट सेवेंटी सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फोर्टी पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स वाट सो इट विल बी सिक्स हंड्रेड सेवनटीन पॉइंट फोर वन आई थिंक आई डूइंग सम मिस्टेक किलो वाट सो वाट वैल्यू दिस वन इज कमिंग नाइन पॉइंट सेवन क्यू इंटू एटीन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव स्क्वायर इंटू पाई इंटू वन पॉइंट टू टू फाइव अपॉन टू सिक्स सिक्सटी सिक्स लैक्स सिक्स सिक्स लैक्स सेवनटीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड टेन फोर हंड्रेड टेन पॉइंट सेवेंटी सिक्स जीरो सेवन सिक्स सो दिस विल बी सिक्स हंड्रेड सेवनटीन पॉइंट फोर वन किलो वाट सो दिस इज द आंसर फॉर प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी टू द अवेलेबल पावर इन द बिंड एट्रेटेड बिंड स्पीड स्पीड जैसे नहीं वर्क करेक्ट नाउ लेट अस सी द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री इफ द बिंड टर्वाइन ऑपरेट्स एट मैक्सिमम पावर कॉफिशियंट एट रेटेड बिंड स्पीड देन कैलकुलेट द मैकेनिकल पावर एक्सटेक्टेड फ्रॉम द बिंड सो this cp max is given 0.38 so we will utilize this data we know that pt is equal to cp into p not so cp is given as 0.38 and p not is given as 617.41 kilowatt and cp is the power coefficient and pt is the power extracted from the bin or the power extracted by turbine so this will give you 234.61 kilowatt this is the answer for problem number 23 Yes, Prasen, you are correct. Now let us see the next problem. Calculate the combined gear generator efficiency eta. So now we will use this data. Synchronous generator rated power output that is given as 200 kilowatt. So this is electrical power, electrical power output. so this is electrical power output we know that electrical power output electrical power output <coughs> equal to combined gear generator efficiency into pt so combined generator efficiency will be p electrical upon power extracted from the turbine power extracted by the turbine power extracted from bind that is pt so electrical power output is 200 kilowatt and the power extracted from turbine is 200 power extracted by turbine is 234.61 kilowatt so this will give you 
C yes 85.25 percent is the correct answer C is the correct answer now moving to the next problem find the so this common data problem is over so this is quite easy it just looks a quite complex problem then uh, but it is not that much you have to remember two things this available power in the bin that we know that we denote by p naught and that we expression is half of rho a rho a u naught q half of rho a u naught q you have to remember this and you can easily get the answer and we know that the power cannot all the power available in the bin cannot be uh, cannot be extracted by the turbine so there is, comes uh, there comes power coefficient so whatever the uh, what amount of power extracted by the turbine that is power available in the bin it should be multiplied with the power coefficient since power coefficient is 0 0.38 so you have to multiply this uh, with this power available in the bin to get the power stated extracted by the bin turbine so pt is equal to cp into p naught this is another expression and the last expression that is electrical power output how what amount of the electrical power you are getting from the bin conversion bin conversion plant so you have to multiply it with this efficiency of the gear generator like turbine and uh, in the turbine we have a gear and then we have generator to convert this uh, to convert this power mechanical power into electrical power so you have to multiply this combined gear generator efficiency with this power stated by the turbine to get the electrical power output so all these three expression we are utilizing in this problem first is p naught power available in the bin half rho a unit q and the second one is this power extracted by the turbine or power extracted from bin here you have to multiply it with this power coefficient cp into p naught and again and in the last expression that electrical power output you have to multiply with the efficiency to get the final electrical power output from the bin conversion system now coming to the next problem problem number 25 find the required diameter of the bin turbine to generate 4 kilowatt at a bin speed of 7 meter per second and a rotor a speed of 120 rpm assuming power coefficient as 0.4 efficiency of mechanical transmission as 0.9 efficiency of generator as 0.95 air density is 1.25 kg per meter cube so here you have to find the diameter of bin turbine d equal to watt and what are the data given here here they are provide they have provided electrical power output that is 4 kilowatt see here to generate 4 kilowatt and bin the speed is given as 7 meter per second u naught and rotor speed is given as 120 rpm rotor speed rotor speed that is n so it is given as 120 rpm and power coefficient is given as cp is equal to 0.4 and efficiencies are 0 0.9 mechanical transfer 0 0.9 and the efficiency of generator is given as 0 0.95 and air density is given as 1.25 kg per meter cube so this mechanical and electrical efficiency we can combine together so combined efficiency is 0 0.9 into 0 0.95 now we can write electrical power output we know that p electrical is equal to efficiency into the power extracted by the turbine or power extracted from wind that is pt so 
efficiency into cp into p naught p naught is half rho a u naught q so we have to substitute all these values electrical power is 4000 watt efficiency 0 0.9 into 0 0.95 cp is 0 0.4 half rho is 1.25 kg per meter q area is pi r square so pi d divided by 2 whole square since we have to conclude the d value and free wind speed is given as 7 meter per second 7 q so we will get the d value as 4000 into 2 into 4 upon 0 0.9 0 0.95 0 0.4 1.25 into 7 q so you will get this value is under root of 69.4656 so you will get 8. 3346 meter so approximately 8.33 is the rotor diameter is the diameter of the wind turbine so b is the correct answer 8.33 meter now we are left with five more problems and then we will close the session Yes, Pirajasani, you are correct. 8.33 meter. Now, coming to the next problem. So here, this again, we have common data problem. A three phase 10 kV square LK induction generator is driven by a fixed pitch angled wind turbine. The generator delivers its rated power output at a wind speed of 10 meter per second. The generator is connected to an infinite bus. The line to line voltage at the infinite bus is 208 volt. The generator is driven at a rated wind speed, delivering its power output at a lagging power factor of 0.8. Calculate the active power output. So it is quite easy. So power factor is given 0.8 and its rated value is given 10 kVA so power factor is given as 0 0.8 0 0.8 and rated value is given as 10 kVA so therefore electrical power is S into cos phi so 10 kVA into 0.8 so it will be 8 kilowatt so 8 kilowatt is the correct answer A is the correct answer. Yes, Pidrasni, you are correct. Now let us see the next problem. Calculate the generator output current. So 
we have calculated the electrical power output and this line to line voltage given so we can easily calculate the generator output current line to line voltage line to line voltage VL is given as 208 volt the line to line voltage at the infinity bus infinite bus is given as 208 volt therefore electrical power output we can write root 3 VL IL cos phi you can also find through apparent power so 8000 equal to root 3 VL is 208 into IL cos phi 0 0.8 so we will get ILS 27.78 ampere so D is the correct answer it's correct with the same. now let us see the next problem calculate the reactive power the generator needs so we have all this now we have the current value the generator output current so we can find the reactive power the generator needs since cos phi is 0 0.8 then sin phi we can write as 0 0.6 we have generator output current as 27.78 ampere line to line voltage is 208 volt now we can easily now we can easily write this q naught root 3 vl il sin phi so root 3 into 208 il is 27.78 ampere sin phi is 0 0.6 so it will give you 6000 point 48 var so it is 6 kva kvr so c is the correct answer yes pridasan you are correct c is the correct answer now let us see the next problem A theory of the, in the same common data problem the bend speed drop to 8 meter per second the generator efficiency stayed the same but the aerodynamic coefficient become 80 percent of what it was calculate the power output of generator so the generator efficiency remains the same so we have to here this bend speed is changing and the aerodynamic coefficient is changing right aerodynamic coefficient means this power coefficient this power coefficient is changing power coefficient cp so we know that this electrical power is equal to eta into cp into half of rho a u naught q here the bend speed is dropping to 8 meter per second earlier it was 12 meter per second and this and this uh, power coefficient cp is dropping to 80 percent of what it was so we can write p electrical one p electrical one who is joining at this time So P electrical one will be eta into this CP one efficiency remains constant because this generative efficiency remains copy remains same row will remain same area will remain same only this you you bind speed is changing so it it can be denoted as u zero one q and this P electrical 2 we can write eta into CP2 
into half of rho a e u naught two q. So C P one is equal to C P and C P two is equal to eighty percent of previous one. So zero point eight one C P or you can say zero point eight C P and U zero one is twelve meter per second and U zero two is eight meter per second. So electrical power one is eight thousand watt. Electrical power two we have to compute. So CP one is we can directly write CP half of rho a u naught q is twelve to the power q. And now P electrical two is eighty percent of aerodynamic coefficient. Zero point eight into CP rho a And you you know you know two will be eight to the power q, so it is eight q. So this will come as eight thousand upon p electrical two. So all the terms will get cancelled out in the numerator. It will twelve q, and in the denominator. 0.8 into 8q. So P electrical to will be 8000 into 0.8 into 8q upon 12q. So it will give you 1896.3 watt, approximately 1.9 kilowatt. So A is the correct answer. One point nine kilowatt. Now we are left with one more problem. Then we will close our session. The last problem. A is correct. You are correct. Option A is the correct. A density, if not given, should be choose one point two five or one point two two five or one point two four. Yes, it is a nice doubt. So some many places, I think most of the places they have chosen 1.225 as the air density. I would just suggest you to take this air density as 1.225 kg per meter cube. So you can directly Google search. What are this? I would suggest you take one point two two five. Yes, see this one. One point two two five kg per meter cube because I saw most of the places they have considered this. Now coming to the last problem. Uh, in this problem. A 40 meter diameter three-bladed wind turbine produces 700 kilowatt at a wind speed of 14 meter per second. The air density is 1.225 kg per meter cube. Find the rotational speed of the rotor at tip speed ratio of 5.0. So this one is like some additional knowledge you should have. We know that this. T per speed ratio is r omega upon u u naught. We know this thing. And 
and so here what are things given 40 meter diameter so r value is given as 20 meter and u naught is given as 14 meter per second and this p naught is given as 700 kilowatt but this has no use option b sir okay yes correct 33.42 rpm correct and n is given as 3 meter n is given as 3 3 bladed wind turbine so this optimal tip speed ratio is given as 5.0 so you can directly put 5.0 r is 20 omega we know that 2 pi n upon 60 we have to find the n so 2 pi n upon 60 upon u naught is given as 14 meter per second so n value is 14 into 15 divided by 2 pi So it will be 7 into 15 upon pi. So it will give you 105 point pi. So 33.42 RPM is the correct answer. So option B is the correct answer. Okay, so this is by the last problem. I hope you get benefited through this session and you will you will be able to solve problems for assignment number 12. Is there any doubt? Sir, uh, this video uh, when uh, will upload? Today in the night or today in the night it will get uploaded. Actually, uh, I have missed uh, many uh, slides. That's why, yes, sir. I have done the previous one. Your all videos. Okay. Uh, you can, yes, uh, today I will upload. No problem. But uh, in the, this is the quite simple assignment. And most of the problems are from this wind energy converter system, and some problems are from this uh, a smart grid and grid automation. So that, yes, yes, sir. Yeah. And for theoretical types problem, I may not be able to give clear clarification. So you can refer to the Sanjeev Gangli sir lectures. Which type of problem, sir? Like theoretical problems, many problems. Uh, yes, 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 yes. So you may consult this uh, uh, references, like whatever the references provided in the courses and the lecture video of Sanjeev Gangli sir. These problems okay. you have asked about this distribution management system and, and sir one more problem in assignment number 11 uh, one numerical uh, based on the average uh, penetration and uh, instantaneous penetration so you have not solved any uh, numerical on such uh, type of problems in previous uh, sessions sir. okay so okay for that type problem uh, you can ask in the discussion forum we can I, we can uh, reply there. No, no, I am not asking the same question, just uh, related to uh, that problems, uh, uh, numericals, right? Okay, I, I think I have not gone through this uh, problem, so I, I will not, because I am solving the previous year assignment. So 
I have missed that type of problem. They have uh, okay. made new type of problem. That's why I may have missed. So I will try. Okay. You can my you can mail me personally or my same personally. I will try to. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Try to do okay, that. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Any other thing? You can give. Can you give a steps or hint for solving assignment twelve, question five or six? determine the power generated by so question 5 or 6 na the power and current of a solar cell with a surface area of 2 cm square are this one and this one at 45 degree centigrade determine the rated voltage and current of the solar cell at 25 degree centigrade okay I think they have made some new type problem. And question number six: A wind energy conversion system with a three-phase six-fold induction generator. The line frequency 50 hertz and wind speed is 10 meter per second. The turbine blades have radius 25 meter. Peak efficiency of wind TSR is nine. If the generator efficiency maximum at negative slip of three percent. Determine the transmission gear ratio corresponding to peak system efficiency. So I have uh, I have not checked this type of problem. So sorry for that. But yeah, you can try yourself. Other otherwise we can discuss in the next session because still we have time till the next session. It is 17, so we have we have next session on the 14th. So I will try to. Solve this type of sim this type problems in the next session because um, assignment 11 will be the deadline will be over before the next session. But for assignment 12, we can discuss also in the next session. So I will try to solve the similar type problems in the next session for this question 5 and 6. Any other doubt? Pidasni, Raul, Dharminder, Sophia Abdul. Sir, uh, next uh, revision lecture. Yeah, next next will be revision lecture, but I will try to add. Uh, as Pidasni asked the same similar type problem that asked in assignment twelve. So I will try sir, one to... more thing, sir. Uh, in exam, final exam, uh, because uh, theory and numerical in this paper, most of the uh, numerical parts. So it is time consuming to solve the problems. No, no. I will able to solve in if you have a if you have Mr. if you have solved the assignments, all assignments. I think you will able to solve in two hours. It will three hours exam. Just, yes, yes, yes. Just utilize your three hours. You will be able to solve in three hours. No problem for it. Don't worry for that. <laughs> because uh, there are a lot of <laughs> numericals in previous, uh, like uh, from one to eight uh, assignments. No, it will be mixed both theoretical and numerical. Means examiner yes, will try to try to just uh, try will ponder about this, <laughs> like what sh should be the student will not get struck anywhere. It's like it should be completed within three hours. Yes, sir. Yes. The pattern will be same to the assignment. It will be like similar. And there you will not have this physical calculator. You have online calculator. So most probably you will having uh, easily numerical problems because actually not, sir, not, uh, not, not, uh, not so much calculative. So many assignments uh, we have solved only numericals based on the link questions and uh, five uh, questions, three questions based on the similar data, same data. So 
ओके या यू यू विल एक्सपेक्ट सम प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आर लिंक्ड टू थ्री मीन्स लाइक कॉमन डेटा अबाउट टू और थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स यस 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 कॉमन डेटा बिकॉज इन व्हाट आई हैव सीन इन असाइनमेंट्स uh mm-hmm. many assignments like a uh, common based data and sir so, uh, solution is not available uh, on the uh, side yeah i have sub- already to i have already told them i don't know why many, they are many many it's friends have written in uh, forum but still uh, solution is not available other courses are available okay so other I courses think, i think available. this will be solved in this uh, big so in this week you will uh, able to get all the solution okay time is very less and uh, 20th is exam and already i have two papers on same day 20th april yeah okay so you will just uh, you just revise all the assignments be carefully and the go through the session uh, means on, online videos and ptl videos i think this in this week uh, they will upload the solution not all but a uh, few uh, uh, problems because those who have uh, uh, got uh, wrong answer right yeah yeah uh, so uh, it will clear yes how to solve and uh, what the uh, trick for so few problems right sir okay they will upload i hope it's that not <laughs> yeah so, so thank you so much sir uh, for your uh, continuous effort and uh, such nice uh, response yeah thank you thank you okay okay good night all of you yeah good night sir thank you sir yeah bye bye